Let's start here at a crowded pool. When there are a lot of kids swimming and splashing around, the color of their bathing suit is more important than you think. Alive Solutions specializes in aquatic safety. They study what colors are like camouflage underwater. Okay, we're gonna test this out and see the results together. What color is best to put your child in and what color you shouldn't put them in. So let me show you what we're doing for this experiment. Come on over. We have a GoPro rolling at all times as well for another angle. We got our friends here and by the way, and one is wearing, as you can see, the bright orange, we got the white, we got the neon green yellowish kind of thing. My buddy down here, high five, boom, is wearing gray, okay? They can all swim, their parents are right over there. All right, you ready to jump in guys? And we're gonna see what we can see. Three, two, one, jump in, woohoo! And just picture yourself as a parent right now. You're on the side, there's a lot going on. What are you most likely to see? Look closely, what colors are standing out to you? And more importantly, what color swimsuits don't? Notice how the gray suit looks like a shadow in the water and the white one starts to disappear. The study finding the same thing, that neon yellow and orange are best, which is exactly what we're seeing here, it's true. Here's another piece of advice, an important one from lifeguards. Don't put kids in dark colors like this because it appears in pools like shadows or debris on the bottom, hard to differentiate, so no dark colors. And also, don't match the bottom of the pool. If the bottom of the pool is a light blue, don't put them in light blue. Next up, a warning about your grill, a grill brush with metal bristles. And you're on the grill after you cook and you're doing this. Well, guess what? As these bristles are all coming out, where are they going? They're sitting on top here and you can't even see it. And next time you cook, they're getting into the food and they're hurting people. Cases across the country, like Heather. She bit into a burger and instantly felt something stab into her throat. It took two emergency surgeries to get this metal bristle out. Later, they found more on the grill. And in another case, Jeffrey felt a stabbing pain in his stomach after his barbecue. Doctors removed this five centimeter long metal bristle. Look how many he found on his grill just days later. So what can you use that's a lot safer? We're gonna run you through it, a lot of great options. When the grill is still hot, just roll up some tin foil, put it at the end of the fork while this is hot. This works just as well and it's a lot safer, okay? Don't wanna use tin foil, boom. Use an onion, grill is hot. The onion does a great job of cleaning the grill. Couple of other options, if you wanna to go to the store, you can buy one of these with a stone. This works great. Or a sponge like this, and there is nothing to fall off and get in people's food. We also have a tip about keeping your pet safe in extreme heat. Pavement temperatures can be anywhere from 40 to 60 degrees warmer than air temperature. So if it's 85 degrees outside, the ground your dog is walking on could be anywhere from 125 to 145 degrees and their paws can sustain serious burns in just 60 seconds. So what should you do? Let me show you. Take the back of your hand, not the front of your hand, the back of your hand, hold it down to the pavement for seven seconds, okay? If you can't, or even if it's just uncomfortable, it's gonna be for your dog as well. That's all for today, back to you.